What's going on guys? Today <coughs> Oh boy. Today is Monday and yes, I'm still sick over through the weekend. I still feel like shit guys We have a busy week this week, but I have something that happened to me the other day that uh, Twitter and Twitch know about But I didn't get to put it on to the YouTubes yet, and we're gonna go take the uh, car for a ride Also, if you guys don't watch fan mail Friday I got sent a couple GoPros and fan mail and it came with a bunch of accessories and this is one of those uh, Strap-ons, you know, you know what I'm saying strap-ons it actually goes on your head and uh, my man Officer 401 uses one and it looks really funny on his head and we're gonna be wearing one in the car and looking like a gay lesbian with a strap on so let's do this so excuse the audio because I'm using my actual camera not the GoPro's audio so these are, should be in sync but we'll see I feel like a fucking Powhatan like some type of Indian wearing this fucking thing on my head because I have long hair so it's like squeezing my hair in and I look like I don't know I look like an 80s teenage girl with like a headband on I want to show you guys the footage. I kind of wanted to just go driving real quick and uh, show off kind of the headband thing with the GoPro because whenever we do car vlogs for now, and this is kind of how it will be. I want to show you guys this footage that was from the other day. I want to say that I was an absolute fucking douchebag to the lady and uh, that was kind of because of how she treated me. Give you guys the full story. She wasn't very pleasant when she got out of the car. She was pretty mean uh, and, and very like, like I was wasting her time type of stuff and when she had that attitude it kind of just triggered me and made me a little more mad and on top of me already being pissed off I, I when she got out of the car with that attitude it just I don't know it kind of triggered me to be even more of an absolute you know what like it just I don't know I feel like if you do something wrong you have common decency to not be a you know a prick when when you get out of the car story short after looking over the car and everything, there really wasn't any damage except for maybe the paint got rubbed a little bit, which is really easy to fix. What had happened is she was maybe on her phone or talking to her, doing whatever in the car that you're not supposed to be doing. And I think she released her foot off the brake and her car or, or GMC truck or whatever it is just rolled into me uh, at a, like a stupid slow speed because she was already stopped behind me. I had already seen her as, you know, a motorcycle habit. I look in my mirror to make sure I'm not going to get rear-ended. And she was already uh, she was already stopped behind me, so I think she slowly rolled into me. Where we were sitting was kind of an, a decline, so it kind of gives me more justice that she let off her brake and her car slowly rolled into me. After we got out, she was like, "Did I even hit you?" And gave me all this attitude and stuff. Like, like I said, like I was wasting your time, and that's kind of what triggered me. And I, I was like a pompous, like little rich kid kind of, and I kind of realized how much of a douche I was after everything was done but like she pissed me off so much because of her attitude when she got out of the car could have gone so much easier like she could have been like oh I'm so sorry is everything okay uh, and I would have been like oh no ma'am it's okay you know let's look it over not a big deal I'm not gonna call the cops it's, it's no biggie uh, you're fine you can, you can go that's how it could have gone but like I said her attitudes with with how she approached it and everything it, it pissed me off so much that that opportunity was completely shot and that was completely gone I'll show you guys the footage of me being kind of pissed off it's not much we're gonna go up here and pull over I'm gonna show you guys the back part of the car and kind of what area I think she did rub um, this area was already there but I don't think it was as bad as it is now uh, and that's the part that her truck would have hit because it sticks out the most but the only bad thing about my Lotus is I don't have a, a bumper. It's just one big giant clam. We'll evaluate that and uh, we'll do a couple speed runs for you guys. You guys, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I just got rear-ended by a FMC in my car as I just sent an email about going to get the car turboed. I'm infuriated, so it's a good thing we're pulling into this Walgreens because if I was getting out right here, I would probably be fucking blistering yelling at this guy. Unbelievable. I can tell you right now, this bitch behind me is very lucky she only rubbed my car. Uh, I don't see anything. There's a car there just for reference in the future. I'll make sure it's on file in a video. But there's a car there. I think it's going to be West Virginia Plates. Her name is Courtney. And her plate is kind of light. And she absolutely hit me. Like, not even a question. I mean, we were, I was sitting here with the brakes and I, I felt current like that and got pushed forward and she gets out and or I get out and I'm like 
told her to point out, pointed at Walgreens, and uh, we got out and checked the car and got her number, her plate, and her name, just in case. But I mean, I definitely got hit. Like, like I was sitting here and it went like this, like definitely bumped us. Um, but the, uh, I mean, everything's fine back there. I was kind of a pompous prick. I'm not gonna lie, because I was pretty pissed off, and I told her that one. Well, she rear ended you. I mean, yeah. Hell? We were sitting still at a red light for a few minutes. Yeah, we were there. It wasn't even like I think she just released off the brake, and her car rolled into me. But I was like a pompous prick, and I was like, you know what? This bummer costs five thousand dollars, and it does. It's OEM from Lotus, and I was like, if there's anything wrong with this, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to pay for it. And literally, I had Amber check the very bottom, up and down, sideways. I like, literally checked everything. All right, big boys. Uh, this place is closed, so I guess we can do it right here. If you're actually looking at the Lotus, uh, the one spot that sticks out the most is this lip. It's kind of like a, it's like a rear lip. If you can kind of see at the top part there, the spoiler almost pops out more than it, but it it doesn't. Basically, if you were to get rear-ended um, by a higher vehicle, obviously you can't get much lower than Lotus. But if you're getting rear-ended by a higher vehicle, this is kind of your your point right here where it's gonna actually happen. You is loud as hell. So based on this, this was one incident, which I have no idea what it was. I'm thinking someone hit my car with a cart or something like that, but I don't know what that was from. Here is where I'm nine times out of 10 positive of where the back of her GMC hit me. It was a big truck, but like I said, she was crawling and she hit right there. The thing about it is after she hit me, she was checking her bumper, like if there was damage on her car. So it was a big GMC truck, so it was almost comical. It's minuscule and it's not really anything, but when I got hit, I was actually sending in the final stuff for my turbo, which is happening this Wednesday. Uh, so it was like, it was really, irritating that Amber was emailing this guy back and she had hit me at the same time. That's what it is though, uh, she didn't really do any structural damage at all so I told her, I got her number and her plate and I told her she was good to go, I'm not going to call the cops, anything like that. And a lot of you guys are going to be you should have called the cops anyways. But I mean, this is just plastic dip. It could be easily fixed and I wasn't about to get, you know, all like hard dicked about it. Hello little dolly. Oh this is some creepy shit right here. We in the middle of West Virginia but... Hey, look at this shit. What the fuck is this shit, bro? Oh my god, damn. Put my uh <clears throat> put my camera down here. Please pick it up, camera. Don't be stupid. side of my car like three times and it scared the shit out of me we're going 100 for a second there but dude when we were coming around that turn i felt drag like no lie at 100 it was probably like 80 or 90 the side of the window i could feel it pulling the car like that my guy my dude greg coming in clutch y'all if you guys don't know what these are uh it's probably because i've never really talked about them on the channel because i've never really like wanted them that bad or i have but like i just really never wanted to like spend the money on them if you will these are wheel caps uh if you never noticed the center of my lotus on the wheels it's like just open there and i hate it but i've never actually said anything about it I ordered these a long time ago but apparently these skinny ones don't fit on my wheels um and the bigger ones are the ones that do so my man over there greg race parts he 3d printed these things up for me dude they 3d printed caps up for me and i already have the badges to put on them anyone by chance is watching my videos and you guys have a lotus or your dad has a lotus your mom has a lotus or your girlfriend's brother sister's daughter's aunt has a lotus like greg's race part i think it's greg's race parts dot com dot squarespace if you just google greg's race parts this dude has the most legit shit ever and he's in the states it's not easy to find parts in the states for lotuses and he makes like everything including these emblems that i have so we're going to put these on the car and i'm going to show you guys what it looks like please excuse the dirty wheel but oh my god it fills in that freaking horrible hole that was there and now we're going to add the decals on it to match my front emblem that you guys know i have and my steering wheel, so yay, let's do this. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh my God, it looks so much better. You guys don't even know, I pre-ordered those caps, the small ones, before I even had my car. Just now getting them on because I couldn't find anywhere to buy the freaking tall ones that were not like 60 bucks of freaking pop. We come back here, they are all so shiny and they all look so good now. The car matches, 
Yay! Like that, guys, if you guys have a Lotus or if you want any Lotus parts for whatever reason, GregRacePartsSquare or something.com. Just put it into Google and you'll find them. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. I hope you guys appreciated a little Lotus love and all the other stuff we did today. As we go on, I will be going to Michigan on Wednesday. Uh, guys, the meetup is looking to be Friday the 26th in Michigan, probably at like some restaurant. Well, I'll give you guys details probably Wednesday. Uh, but I'm going to drop the car on Wednesday and then we'll be picking it up on Friday. So. Uh, Wednesday's gonna be a busy day. I'll probably I'll probably vlog going up there and going to the shop and hitting up Monkey Wrench and all that other stuff. That'll be Saturday's video, but Wednesday's video, I'll see you guys then. Please have a good one and goodbye.